Counterfeit money is an important weapon of the saboteur. Throughout time, counterfeit currency has played a vital role in the history of the United States. To banks and other financial institutions, Secret Service offers instruction in how to detect spurious money. There are always minute differences obvious to the trained eye which make detection possible. Since the Secret Service inception, they have worked tirelessly to suppress counterfeit currency. A lot of people are unaware that the United States Secret Service was formed during the Civil War in response to the rising counterfeit currency that was being printed by the Confederate Army and distributed in the North. When we talk about counterfeit currency, what we're talking about isn't something that you print at home. We're talking about a very high level artistic formation of Federal Reserve notes. Notes that are so undetectable to the common person and they're very often times not even picked up in banks. During World War II, Hitler and the Nazis tried the same methodology. They forced Jewish artisans to create counterfeit currency to try to destabilize the U.S. dollar globally. All of those attempts failed. They're experts in genuine currency. So they were able to secure the Treasury and the U.S. financial institutions from this impact of counterfeit currency. In major financial regions of the United States, hundreds of thousands of dollars of counterfeit currency are seized every week. The role of the Secret Service is to suppress that counterfeit count and ensure that those bills don't continue circulating through the U.S. economy. Incorporated into every Federal Reserve note are certain security features. Some of those security features remain classified in our closely guarded secrets of the U.S. government. Here, we're looking at a $20 and $100 Federal Reserve note. Both have watermarks that are printed into uh, the paper itself process that's developed when the paper stock is made and it's embedded into the fibers. It's not a print, it's actually an imprint uh, into the paper itself. Additionally, a common feature that is seen with the naked eye is present in the lower right hand corner of the $20 and the $100 bill and it's called optical varying ink. It's image shifting ink that changes color as the bill moves. Microprinting is fine, fine artistic work that's embedded in the uh, the genuine plate. But what that means is you can't take a bill and photocopy it and have it have the same uh, quality uh, in the microprinting. It'll come through as just a straight line. That's a key indicator that it would be a counterfeit bill. One feature on the $100 bill, if you look very finely printed on the lapel of Franklin, is microprinting. It says the United States of America. Very hard to see with the naked eye, but under magnification, it's another security feature. And finally, embedded are colored fibers, red, blue, and there's also some that glow with UV lighting. These are key indicators of a genuine bill. On the higher denomination bills, there's a 3D hologram strip that's imprinted uh, into the fiber itself that is, again, another indicator of a genuine bill. Every bill from the 1 to the 100 has a serial number. That serial number for the Secret Service is used as a tracking device. We know what genuine bills look like and we know what their, their serial number and sequence are. Counterfeiters don't necessarily. So oftentimes a bill that does not follow a specific sequence are a key indicator of a counterfeit Federal Reserve note. Every genuine Federal Reserve note is associated to a Federal Reserve bank. That is indicated uh, on the bill via specific locations here. Oftentimes, counterfeiters don't align the bill to the right Federal Reserve Bank. Again, a key indicator of a counterfeit bill. Counterfeiters seek to undermine the credibility of the U.S. financial system by just the sheer manufacturing of counterfeit currency. The Secret Service, mindful of the impact that this has, they've worked with the Department of the Treasury to come up with security standards that are inherent in every bill. 